Welcome to WP Coffee Talk. Thank you to our sponsor, Helix Managed WordPress Hosting, for both their sponsorship and hosting our site, WPCoffeeTalk.com. Now on to our episode. <laughs> Welcome to the next edition of WP Coffee Talk. I am excited today. I love when I get to talk to people in other, not only other states and other countries, but other continents. Um, you know, I think we are like four hours apart. So it's one o'clock in the afternoon here. It's uh, 8 p.m. here. I'm actually in oh. Nairobi. Yeah. Oh, um, you're in Nairobi. So you're much further ahead than I am then. Okay. Many, <laughs> many more hours. So thank yeah. you for being, giving me part of your evening. So I'm excited today to introduce to you Mary Job. And Mary, you're over in Nairobi, like you said, and you are a huge name in WordPress. I am so excited to get to talk to you. We've tweeted back and forth before. <laughs> yeah, you <we> will. <have. laughs> but this is our first chance to actually speak to each other. And you also are part of the, um, the NetSquare TechSoup uh, community as well as I am. So uh, you're, you're very well established in WordPress and also in nonprofits, which of course is um, close to my heart as well. So thank you for being on the show today. Tell us a little thank bit about you yourself. Oh, it's uh, my pleasure. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, well, you already know my name. Uh, I basically um, work for myself. Uh, I started this company called How Do You Tech? And that came about because people were always asking me, how do I do this? How do I do that? How they assume that I know everything about tech? So I'm like, okay, fine. Let me put the answer somewhere for you people to find. So you stop asking me. Uh, so <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm volunteering for the WordPress community in Lagos, Jebu, and the NetSweat community in Jebu as well. Uh, I just love helping people. Like, helping people there. That's my thing. Yeah, I think you and I have a lot of that in common. That's one of the things yeah. that I love, and that's why I'm so involved in the community as well, for sure. Well, show us your cup. What 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 cup are you using today? What mug do you have? My mug is special. It's um, this uh, WooCommerce swag that was given at WordCamp Europe in Berlin the last month. So you know, I wasn't able to make it down to Berlin, but. Uh, Casper went round to all the um, companies and he got me all the swags. He told me that basically when he walks up to them and he tells them, I'm getting a swag from Mary Jo, they just kept giving him stuff. So he sent me like a full <laughs> box of swags, like so many items, like in twos. So this is this is one of my favorite. Yeah, That's wonderful. Oh my gosh. We all I'm need so a friend like that. Casper. We, we all need a friend like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't walk very well. So for me, when I'm at, at you know, in the um, sponsor room, it's hard for me to walk from table to table. So I had people at WordCamp US last year that's like, give me your bag, I'll fill it up for you. So it's, it's yeah. nice to have people. Yeah. That's it basically awesome. sent me a message in the morning and said, my job today, so the first day was the um, MC because they introduced Matt and because I was watching the live stream. So the next day he sent me a message saying, today my job is to pick you all the best swags there is. <laughs> so be <laughs> expecting a very big box of swags and I was so happy and I, I really yeah. appreciate that. I mean, from everyone who sent, who gave me stuff, I'm happy. That's wonderful. I know, I love swag too. I was just talking to, I, I just recorded uh, the 50th episode right wow. before I talk to you. I know. I'm, we only have like 12 out so far. But, um, and Chrissy Pollack, who works for Automatic, she interviewed me instead of the other oh. way around. So that oh, she's on the 50 nice. episode. <laughs> yeah, so you all get to learn a little bit about me. But we were talking about swag. And I was talking mm -hmm. about the first time I got like a sticker that said like, um, I can't, I said go daddy, I think. And then I had a, like a tumbler that was go daddy. And I was like, it was like gold. I was like, wow, oh, like I'm, I've seen commercials on TV for go daddy. And now I have this cup, you know, you know yeah, but the feeling is it's undescribed. Like you can't describe it. It's not just like, it's not the item. It's the thoughts that goes behind the item. Yes. That's what counts. Absolutely. And, and the feeling of being connected to all these different parts of the community that's a part of it as well. Yeah, yes. for sure. So that's exciting. So what's in your cup today? What are you drinking? So I have cold coffee in my cup, uh, Kenyan coffee. Now this is why it's cold, right? Every time I make a cup of coffee, I forget it's in front of me and it becomes cold. So one day <laughs> I decided, okay, let me put, because I make the next one and the next one also gets cold. So I decided to start putting it in the fridge. 
So now when I make the coffee and it's cold, I just put it in the fridge. And then I brought it out and I liked it much better than the hot one. So. <laughs> there you go. And you don't have to worry about it getting cold because you just drink it that exactly, way. Exactly, because it's cold already. So like, it's even chilled. And you enjoy exactly. it. <laughs> Well, I just showed this cup in my last episode too. But ah, this, is, this looks very nice. It's a, it's you know, it's pottery. So this was a gift from my mother uh, when I started my first real job in the world uh, twenty years ago, and so this was my first. So this cup is twenty years old. Yes, yes. Wow. Probably older. This, I think, this uh, twenty-two years. She gave me this twenty-two years ago. So, um, and I'm not going to lie. I have bourbon in my cup today <laughs> I, I ah my oh my goodness oh we're so much alike i, I love it I, I love mine with honey <laughs> this is like, bourbon honey this is honey yeah. bourbon yeah okay so i think so, we just want another thing in common okay well there you go so next time if we are ever in the same place at the same time i'm buying the drinks yes <laughs> And we're adding on it to it. Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Great. So I may be a little sillier today than I would normally be on the show. Oh, geez. Ah, this, this, this is a whole way chat. We have, we have to enjoy ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. It's my show. I could be silly if I want. <laughs> so so don't worry, I don't. I'll, I'll be silly with you. We'll okay. With I, lo you. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, so tell us, how did you get started with WordPress? What was your first foray into the WordPress world? My first story was in 2012. Um, I just I wanted to write, uh, and then I discovered WordPress. But I ran away because I thought it was complicated. <laughs> and then I came back in 2015, and I discovered .org, and I'm like, oh wow, I didn't know this thing was so amazing. Why why did I run away in the first place? <laughs> So I started blogging again, and then in 2016, I started building sites. And then in 2016 also, I joined the community. Mm. And once you join the community, man, it's all over from there, right? I, I can't go back. I can't go back. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here, like, forever till I'm dead. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. The community to me is, um, it's, it's, it's like you are home. You're with people that, even though you may not have seen each other physically, are like your family. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I was telling Chrissy, I said, I have so many brothers and sisters that I never knew I had all over the world because of WordPress. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. amazing. It really is amazing. I love that. Um, when you look at other people's WordPress websites, so when you're teaching people uh, about what's important, what do you think is things that we need to focus on more? So things that people might skip or, you know, not, not give as much attention to that would make better, stronger sites? Uh, yes, for me, I think that would be um, usefulness. Uh, it has nothing to do with the um, aesthetics. Or, I mean, like the usefulness. And when people uh, build sites, you know, they're just like, oh, let me just build your site and that's it. The site is supposed to be useful for the person you're building it for, which means the person you're building it for needs to understand how the site works in order to make it turn profit for them also. Mm -hmm. So I think people miss that a lot. They focus on, oh, let it be fine, put, put images, you know, like this and that. And then they forget that it, it is supposed to be useful and functional for wherever the site is being built for. Yeah. That's what I think. I agree. I think a lot of sites are built, the, the customer thinks that it needs to be, our customer thinks that it needs to be built to their specifications, but they need to think about their audience and who, who is mm -hmm. coming to visit the site. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Otherwise, they come back and tell you, oh, you built me, built me a website, but the site is not selling. Yeah, because you don't understand the site is supposed to be useful. You don't understand how it works. So how is it going to bring uh, customers for you? Remember when I told you X, Y, Z, I meant it. <laughs> and, this yeah. is, and this is what I meant. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> What's something that you wish you had known when you first started in WordPress that you've learned since that would have made this whole journey easier? Uh, that would have been not running away, like staying when I first mm -hmm. discovered WordPress. That was 2012. Because maybe I would have um, uh, like gone into programming yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i discovered html in 2016 
it's crazy. I didn't, yeah. I didn't even know anything about HTML. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that would be not running away for me. Like, yeah. I wish I did not run away when I first stumbled on WordPress. I wish I stayed. Yeah. But you're on a good path now. So everything happens for a reason. That's yeah. what I like to think, right? Everything has for reason. <laughs> and the beautiful thing, when, even by saying that, the beautiful thing is that people don't need to know HTML. They don't need to know CSS. They don't need to know PHP and JavaScript and any of these other languages to be able to have a nice WordPress website. And that's one of the beautiful things. Absolutely. I keep telling people that, in fact, when we first started Meetups in Lagos, I used to tell people, like, if you can build a very wonderful site using a free team, don't bother paying for any. You're going to waste your money. You have to okay. learn to make the free one look awesome, and then maybe there's something you like in the paid one that you can buy. But when you're starting, just use the free team to get what you want. Mm -hmm. At least to play with it and learn it, you know, learn it in depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I sure. agree. Yeah, for sure. When you think back over the different WordPress um, meetups that you've been to and the WordCamps that you've gone to, what are one or two really standout moments for you, things that really meant a made a difference for you? Okay, so for me, the first would be at WordCamp Cape Town. Yeah, that was my first. WordCamp Cape Town was my first WordCamp, not even WordCamp Lagos. Cape Town was my first WordCamp, and it was also my first time speaking on a stage with so many people. <laughs> Uh, and um, the feedback I got after my, my talk was wow. Like, everybody was like, you know what, you know, also I'm like, yeah, we want to be friends. And I was like, wow, I'm so happy I was able to inspire so many other people. And then I made new friends too. Uh, there was this lady who came there for the first time. She just came, she didn't know about it. And we became friends afterwards. But I made a lot of friends, new friends. So for me, that was one. Yeah, that was, that was one time. And then. Uh, the second would be organizing our first word camp. <laughs> in fact, you should have seen a picture of me after the word camp. I was in the kids' room throughout because we also had a kids' camp. I was in the kids' room and I was looking so tired. And I think somebody took a picture of me. I was looking so worn out and dead. <laughs> my, my phone had been ringing, ringing, ringing. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was interesting though, <laughs> but it was stressful. It was so much work that I had never organized that type of event before. So it was. It was, it was something for me. Yeah. It's, like it's, it's interesting. You don't know what you're getting into when you say, yeah, that I'll do that. <laughs> Thank you. I, I thought I was the only one who thought that, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that it's, it's two of us. I'm happy we agree on that because I thought, oh, it's going to be so easy. Let's just get into it. And then you get into it and you're like, oh my goodness, this is like a full-time job. And then but you love it so much. You don't want to stop. That's the, yeah. that's the, you know, you love it so much, you don't want to step back and yeah. until you realize, okay, I think I need to take a break <laughs> because it becomes like a full-time job, but it's not a full-time yeah. job. And everybody keeps asking you, oh, so you work for WordPress now? No, I don't work for WordPress. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much money do you get paid to run that camp? Zero. <laughs> they wouldn't understand that. No. They think you're, you don't want to tell them, like you don't want to tell them the truth or something. You know? no, People still ask. Yeah. The, the do action, we did, uh, we did a do action before I came here. I didn't go because I told them this year that I'm staying back from the Lagos community. You all should take charge. I come from my city like three hours away to Lagos to organize meetups. I'm not doing that anymore. I want you people to take charge. And they've been doing wonderful. So I planned a do action from my house like put everything in order, they did the do action. So when I met with the organizer, I came to pick up the swag, um, some swags before I came to Nairobi. So um, somebody called him on the phone and the person was asking him, okay, so aside from the fact that we all came together to build web uh, this website for the St. Jews, so what other thing do we get in return? <laughs> and so it was like, um, okay, I don't understand your question. So yeah, like what other benefit do, do we get to get paid or maybe something? I was like, okay, I think I'll talk to you some other time. <laughs> <laughs> no, people think that you know like oh okay, so if i do this then you know i can join uh, the organization it doesn't work like that you have to keep telling them it doesn't work like yeah. that you do it because you're passionate about helping people become you know grow in the community for sure absolutely yeah. so you just mentioned do action and i don't think everybody in the wordpress community knows what do action is can you tell us a little bit about that okay so the do action is a hackathon um where 
people in the community volunteer to build a number of websites for nonprofits in their city free of any charge. So like you have to get sponsorship, uh, sponsorship for domains, hosting, venue, and then the WordPress Foundation also supports um, a little with that, but you have to do like all the preparation so you apply for the do action get approved um tell non-profits who need a website come 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 apply you know and then you have to vet them to be sure they are non-profits because like about i think about four of the applications we got for lagos they were from people who didn't have non-profit certificates and you became send us and you're like why didn't you get selected and i'm like you know you're not a non-profit you're a business you know? <laughs> So um, basically, you pick a number of websites, you get people together, seven in a team. So like last year, we built for five NGOs. This year, we went for six, six NGOs. So you just come together, build websites for free for NGOs. You have to vet them, of course, maybe like look at their mission and see if it aligns with, you know, like it's something you really want to help, help out with. Yeah, like there are nonprofit organizations here in the U.S., for building a wall between the United States and Mexico. And there are nonprofits to not build a wall between the United States and Mexico. So you have to just, you have to choose which one do you want to support? <laughs> or um, have, a, have everybody decide so yeah. which one should we support so that you're not biased also because you don't exactly. want to be biased. Yeah. Exactly. So everybody exactly. has their reasons for doing things. You can't fault them. You can only explain to them why they shouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our own opinions for sure. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, you know, I work for Give, and Give is a very big supporter of direction and things like, like that. Like, you guys are doing amazing. We, we use, love what we do. For the two action, we use Give and pay. Um, so, my co organizer for Lagos, he built a plugin. Like, that guy is just wonderful. Tuberosu is so wonderful. He built a plugin for Give for Paystack. So, he gives it to us for free, like, to use for all the nonprofits. So basically they can accept donations on their sites in our currency. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love what we do because I give, I get to talk to people all over the world about their nonprofits. And so I feel like I'm doing my part to help them make the world a better place. So yeah. Yes. You That's are. That's a fun thing. That's believe a fun thing. Now you are also working, uh, I think you're an organizer for one of the, um, the Net Squared meetups as well, are you not? Yeah, I just joined them. I just joined them, I think, four months ago. As, as did I. I think we joined right around the same time. <laughs> ah, nice. I know. I know. It's like we're living the same life in different countries. <laughs> I'm telling you. Just Only I'm a, I'm, a lot, I'm a lot older than you, though. <laughs> I wish well, I was involved as young as you were. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're still sisters. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> at, at Give, they call me the work mom. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> so, so tell us how about how that is going for you. So, how is? Because uh, for me, it's been it's been slow to get people mm. to come and to do that. So, I'm working mm. at building that community. Has it been easy for you to build that community? No. So, yeah. like the WordPress community has. Um, we have a community in Ijebu, that's where I'm from. Uh, it's run by my brother. Uh, of course, I have to do all the work because he's always coming to ask me because I'm always there. <laughs> and then, so from, um, it, it's not been easy because you can't compare the population of people in that place to the population of people in Lagos. Yeah, it's different. It's been slow and then getting people to show up, like you have to physically go to them and ask them, tell them to come and tell them you're doing this. And that uh, before they show up and when they come you know they they always go back happy like oh wow we didn't know something like this is going on here uh, but if there's one thing i've learned uh, from organizing meetups is consistency when you when you show up every month um you're bound to grow when you show up when people know that they show up because some people will just be observing i've been to so many conferences in lagos and the person standing next i know you from somewhere I knew from someone, and it, you're Mary Jo. I always get your emails. I said, but you never come to any meetup. <laughs> so start coming to the meetups. Don't just see my email. That's to tell you that people are watching, they are observing, they are listening. They just may not show up yet, but they will. They always do. 
yeah it takes a, it takes a while to build a community for sure yes it does absolutely it does. absolutely <laughs> so what do you love most about working with wordpress ah for me it's the people <laughs> <laughs> me too it's the people like the people like they're amazing wonderful people like i've never seen people who are so willing to share so much as much as i've seen in the community they are always like you reach out to somebody you've never talked to the person before and the person is willing to share just because you have what person in common mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, amazing. It's, yeah. it's 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 um wonderful so for me it's that, deep. Yeah. that's one of the things i love about the happiness bar so anytime i'm at a at a camp and there's a happiness bar i spend at least one hour if i can at the happiness bar because it's i may not know happiness. all the answers but yeah if you if i can help anybody i'd like to you know even if i don't know the answers we can look for the answer together right exactly or find somebody else who knows the answer or find somebody else who knows the answer. <laughs> yeah for sure for sure um when you are and now you do some training you have your site that teaches people how to do a lot of things in the in wordpress and things like that correct yeah yeah. So when you when you're teaching somebody about how to use WordPress, what are a few plugins that you always recommend? Yoast, number one, Yoast, um, WordFence, it's important. And then the third one would be plugins, you see. Uh, I love Divi. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, I use it for everything. <laughs> Yeah, I know they have a team, but they also have a plugin. So like yeah. on my personal site, I use the plugin, not the builder. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I love Divi, so I would say Divi. That's great. I love Divi too. As a matter of fact, some people have called me the Divi queen, but I'm happy to be the princess if you want to be the queen. <laughs> I was just, I'll, I'll be have, the princess. There you go, I have the tiara. Oh my it. goodness, you have a tiara. Oh, oh, nice. Anybody I'll, can have I'll a crown. Yeah, you be the queen. I'll be the princess. There you go. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> At any point in your WordPress journey, have you had somebody who acted as a mentor for you? Whether it was on, you know, officially a mentor or just somebody that kind of took you under their wing? Well, I wouldn't say took me under their wings, uh, but like I look up to, yes. And that would be Martin Rand Hendrickson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's amazing. He's awesome. And I also found out that we have we have a bachelor's degree in common. He studied philosophy. I studied philosophy. I studied philosophy was, as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's such a small world. It is. It is. But yes, he's got so many great classes out there too. It was, it was, I always say, it was this video that brought me to WordPress. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, it was WordPress.com videos. It wasn't even .org, it was WordPress.com videos. I watched the video because my blog, as at that time, was on um, Blogspot. I watched the videos and I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't know this thing was so amazing. Yeah, and then I ran to Blogspot, uh, literally ran there. Uh, I spotted my blog, put it on WordPress. And you know, the funniest thing is within the first three months, I made friends uh, just from, from blogging that I still keep in touch with today, like from all over the world. Like we still mm -hmm. talk like we're friends. We have each other on Facebook and stuff like that. Yeah. So I, Martin would be that person for me. <laughs> so I wouldn't say took me under his wings, but yes, it's somebody I look up to, I respect him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's always putting out a lot of, a lot of, tweets that make you think yeah i agree i follow him on twitter as well yeah that's awesome okay so other than wharton who's somebody that you admire in the wordpress community and why hmm okay other than wharton well the obvious other person will be casper mm -hmm. yeah yes yes there was a timer he taught me how to do some things and i've been using that knowledge ever since and it's been good and <laughs> So yes, now we're <laughs> I so look forward to meeting him and, him and his wife very, very, very soon. Very, very soon. That's wonderful. He's been amazing, wonderful. Yeah. And where is he located? Berlin. 
Uh, Berlin, Germany. Okay. I don't know if he lives in Berlin, but he lives in Germany. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was his hometown or not. So, yeah. Oh, that's great. I, there are so many people, right? There are so many amazing there people so in the WordPress community. Others. There's so many other people, like so many other people. Yeah. It's, it's always fun. And, it's, yeah. and that's what I love about big word camps is like you can meet your heroes. <laughs> that's why I wanted to be at Berlin so bad. I cried. I, 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 like, I cried my eyes out for like four oh, hours. Oh. I kept crying. <laughs> <laughs> like I wanted to meet all those wonderful people. I was like, uh, there's Rochelle too. Yeah, I, I've met um, Brooke once in Cape Town, but there's Rochelle. She's from uh, Spain. Spain? Mm -hmm. I so wanted to meet Rochelle and give her a very big hug. Yeah. So it's really maybe, maybe next year in Portugal. Yes, next year. Yes, so this year I'm, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm not trying to go to any work camp this year. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> I want to take a break. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But next year it's going to be in Portugal. So I'm making it um, my, one of my goals to try to raise the money to be able to go to WordCamp Europe next year because I've never been and I'd like to go. So. Ah, nice. So uh, we'll both start saving together because I just created a piggy bank <laughs> where I want to start putting money for WordCamp so next year. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. And and maybe sponsor maybe somebody will sponsor you. You know, you can always put it out there. Sponsor me to WordCamp. You, were, you, were. you know the WordCamp period was sponsored. It was to be sponsored, fully sponsored by Yoast. Was it? Yeah. I was oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's they were awesome. paying for my flight and accommodation. And it was it was let's just leave that. It was really painful. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm moving sorry. on. We'll move on to the next question. <laughs> What's something you'd like to learn in WordPress that you haven't tackled yet? JavaScript. <laughs> <laughs> Every I time I try, it drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a developer either. <laughs> I think there's Every a reason they call, they, they, they call them programming languages because it really is a foreign language. The first time that I tried, the first time that I tried, let me tell you what happened. So after spending like um, maybe 12 hours, I was so hungry, like it made me so hungry. Now there's a, there's a type of food we have in, in my country, it's made from uh, cassava. So you blend the cassava, and this is the way you make it, and then you make it into gari. So you can either drink it, or like put it in water, put sugar, milk, or make it into uh, a bar. We call it a bar, so it's like a swallow, you like, it's like this, isn't it? Okay. I don't eat a bar on a normal day. I would rather drink my guy. After spending time with JavaScript, I went looking for a bar because I, that's how, <laughs> that's how hungry I was. I was literally starving, you know, and I hit it and I felt better. And then every time I attempt to go back, I'm like, okay, so what am I doing here exactly? I really don't know what I'm doing here. Why am I here? <laughs> I know you got to find some good good classes for it for sure. Yeah. So so um like you said it's not compulsory everyone in WordPress um does programming but I have this um idea that it's not a bad idea to understand the basic concepts of how it works. You don't have to write it but you should be able to understand just the basics so you can you know like when people are talking or when you can contribute to a conversation about it you don't have to be a javascript uh, <laughs> <laughs> like like right now if 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 i'm with my team and given they start talking about things with php and because i don't know php and javascript i just like all over my head <laughs> mm -hmm. i agree and then I and then the i and then i start to think about other things <laughs> I think you're even worse than me because I try to listen to what it what, what they're saying. I try to listen and then see maybe some of it will make sense. Well, thankfully, I did, HTML was fun, CSS is fun. PHP, I love CSS, yeah. PHP is similar to HTML, so it's fun. JavaScript, no. Well, at least not yet. <laughs> We'll check, we'll, we'll check back with you next year. We'll see if you still feel the same way about it. <laughs> That's, that's a good idea. Yeah, for I'm sure. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's still be no. Ask me <laughs> another language. Maybe Ruby. <laughs> no, ask there you me. Go. 
<laughs> I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Um, what's the biggest WordPress mistake you've ever made and what did you learn from it? Yeah. I, I, I've said it already. That would be, okay, yeah. So mistake Running now, away? <laughs> no, 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 no. The mistake now would be um, not being patient to understand how it works. Mm -hmm. That was a big mistake. Maybe I would have gone further than I am now if I had. Um, but it taught me something very valuable. Too. Because now before I do anything, I make sure I understand how it works. Then I decide if I want to proceed or not. Yeah, so it was a valuable lesson then. Yes, costly. It cost me four years. But you got there. And you're young, so it's okay. <laughs> you keep saying that I'm young. I'm happy to hear that I'm young. <laughs> okay, how old are you? At 32, I think. So you are young. I'm happy to be young. Even if I'm 40, I'm still young. That's good. I'm 50. So... <laughs> I've got so a few years my, on you. You're my big, big auntie. You're my big there sister. You go. That's mm -hmm. right. I'm the WordPress mom. That's okay. <laughs> so you can tell the bourbon's kicking in, right? <laughs> I giggle a lot when I drink. Okay. So what's your, proudest, like, what's your proudest WordPress moment? Uh, yes. Yes. I have that. My proudest moment was so... The WordCamp Europe, the just completed one, I watched the live stream throughout. I was prepared to watch the live stream on all the two days. I don't know if they broadcasted on the third day. On the two days, the first day was contributor day. Um, my proudest moment was at the end, uh, you know, at the end of the original WordCamp, they call all the volunteers to the stage and then everybody claps for them. It was seeing my picture up there. They gave me a shout out. That was so cool. I was yeah. literally crying. <laughs> That's wonderful. I was, I was crying when I saw it and I was like, oh, wow, this is so... It, it felt like I was there. I didn't even feel like I wasn't there. I felt like I was a part of the event and then I took part in all the events. And then I got the cool swags too. So yeah, I was there. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, you deserved it all for sure. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that, I think that, that would be... Serves. That, that was really beautiful. Yeah. And that's something else you and I have in common is I cry for things like that too. So, <laughs> so this, is, this is what I do. I tell myself that I'm fine. I say, okay, you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Then I go inside and I cry my eyes out. In fact, when I was crying, uh, my daughter came because she mostly sleeps with my mom. But she came to my place and she saw that I was crying and then she knew that I was to travel and I didn't go. And she was trying to cheer me up, like, don't cry, don't worry. Ah, you, you go for the next one. Why are you crying? Okay, let's go out. I said, no, I don't want to go out. <laughs> and then she stayed with me, and then she chatted with me, and then, you know, she said, don't worry, I'm going to be fine. And I said, okay, let me let you sleep now, and I'll, I'll go and come back and to check on you. That was so cute. <laughs> That's so, yeah, she became the mom for you. <laughs> she always does that. She always tries to be the mom, so I don't even argue with her anymore. I just <laughs> let her be the mom. Just let it go. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. She sounds, she sounds wonderful. <laughs> that's great. Jeez. If you weren't working in WordPress and web and web technologies, what's another career that you might like to do? Aerostess. I always wanted to be a hostess or a model. Yes. <laughs> Tell me a little I more. Agree. I always wanted to be a hostess when I was small. You know when you go to the airport and they have this beautiful outfit and this ears and they're just like, and you're like, oh wow, this is, this, they look so good that you want to be that. Um, and then model because, so on a normal day, I don't, I'm not a makeup person or make my hair. In fact, I had to promise my daughter to make my hair every month this year because she says I have to always look beautiful and I tell her I, I am beautiful she says, yes I know you're beautiful I just need you to look <laughs> <laughs> and then she says how are you going to meet Prince Charming if you're looking like this you have to look less than that so I, I modeling yeah I wanted to be a model because it, it's like this career where it's only when you're in front of the camera that you have to do all of that when you're not in front of the camera, you could just be yourself. 
-hmm. Well, that's what I think. I don't know if that is what I do, but that's what I would have done if I went into that, if I went into that industry. I would only look good on the camera. When I'm not in front of the camera, I'm taking off everything and I'm looking like my normal self. Sweet. Maybe they would have kicked me out for that. I think they would have kicked me out for that. Or oh, probably judged me. <laughs> <laughs> because I won't, I won't look like they have the normal model. But yeah, I would still love to model. If you know anybody looking for a model, I would do it for free. Yeah, I would, okay. I would do it for free. If you want me on a phone of your magazine or something, do it for the fun of it. <laughs> we'll tweet it out. We'll see if we can find somebody for you. <laughs> I love it. What's something on your bucket list? Ah, yes. So this is what I like to do, right? My fears, I, I love facing my fears by doing something that I'm afraid of. And the next item on my list is jumping out of an aircraft. Uh, oh my goodness. Sky, skydiving is next on my list. Yeah, yeah, yes, it is next on my I have to do that. I have to jump out of the airplane. Well, God help me if I forget parachutes. <laughs> I, yeah, I I'm, do, I'm so looking forward to do that. I, I do not share that with you. That's where we differ. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. When I'm going, I'm going to call you. We have to go together. I can't <laughs> jump with you. Somebody has to jump with me. So, so somebody has to be on the ground to hug you when you get there. That will be me. <laughs> Like Mary, okay. you made it. I'll, come here, I've got you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so you want to support me from the ground. You're supposed to support me from the air. <laughs> okay, so I'll be, I'll be in the plane, I'll push you out, and then, <laughs> and then we'll land and I'll hug you again. <laughs> but, but I'm not jumping with you. <laughs> I, I am going to take that item off my bucket list. I had to. It's important that I, I do. I think I'm that's wonderful. Heights. I'm afraid of heights. Me too. And falling. <laughs> See, this is the reason why we have to jump. My, my bucket list is to do a TED Talk. I want to do a TED Talk. Ah, those are nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think we, we have to get you to do something more. Yes, that is awesome, but I need something more crazy. You know? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> but I promise you, it's not going to be jumping out of an airplane. <laughs> I'll pet an alligator or something, but no airplanes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I did that in Ghana. Did you? So, yeah. They have, they have this um, restaurant where they have the crocodiles just roam free. Like they oh, just go about. And then I saw there was a school that brought children, like 50 children. I was afraid for them. Like, and they were going so close to them. It's like, this children, like this thing can eat you, you know? <laughs> so you either sit on a crocodile, you know, this very big giant one, you either sit on it or you, you, you like, touch the door. You can't come from my you. When I sent the picture to my mom, she was like, oh my goodness, this girl is going to kill me one of these days. <laughs> You should, you'll have to tweet one of those pictures out. I want to see. <laughs> I'm going to tweet it. Yeah, for I sure. Touch, I, I touch one of them. I'm sure it's on my Facebook, but I love the album. But I'll tweet it. Yeah, yeah tweet, it and tweet it. Tweet it. Say, this one is done. Airplane Jumping out of an airplane is next. <laughs> and then the whole world knows that that's what you want to do. <laughs> okay, great. I'm going to do that. Okay. So maybe I'll get somebody else to join me since you don't want to join me. I, I'm afraid, a little too afraid for it. So, but there are other people who've been on the podcast that want to jump out of airplanes too. I just have to remember who they were and maybe we can get you all together to do it. See, now we're See? talking and then you, 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 you would offer ground support. So for everybody. That's right. <laughs> you get down with, a, with that cup of our favorite drinks. So, uh, one, that's right. One of the things I love is like one of my, my little stupid hobbies is finding mm -hmm. funny things and putting WP in front of it for like, and see if it's available as a, as a URL. So I'm like WP terra firma. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> or WP ground crew only. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay. okay. We'll see. We'll see. 
So tell me about one of your hidden talents or show us one of your hidden talents that people in the WordPress community might not know you do. Huh, that, that one is difficult. Hidden talents. Hmm. Mm, hidden talents. Would I be singing to myself or dancing when nobody's watching? <laughs> that would be very yeah, that would be very difficult. And that would be very difficult to come up with because I'm pretty much uh, an open book. Like, yeah, me too. Well, as, as, except there are some things about me that even I don't know that I have. <laughs> Until it gets to the point where it is needed, then it comes out. That's a good thing for sure. Yeah, so I'm not able to put my, my mind on anyone, any particular one right now. But I'm pretty sure there are so many other things that it, when it gets to the moment, it just comes out from nowhere. Even me, I'm surprised. I don't know I could do this. <laughs> like, where did, where did that come from? <laughs> I basically just go with the flu. I don't even ask anymore. I just go with the flu. I love it. I love it. That's wonderful. Well, tell us how we can find you online. What are your Twitter and your website? So my website is maryjob.com. As always, my, my name.com. Um, and on Twitter, it's Mary Ojo. So my full name is Oluwashio, which means thank God. So Mary Ojo on Twitter or maryjob.com. Perfect. And we'll make sure those are all on the website so that if anybody's listening and they uh, want to get them later, they'll be able to find those very easily. Thank you so much for being with me today. This has been so much fun to connect with you finally face to face after all this time yeah. following, following you. Um, and I really appreciate you being with me today on this Saturday and letting me drink with you. So, <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I enjoyed myself. Good, good. We found a few things in common. Um, we found some we have to persuade you to do. <laughs> there you go. We'll see. We're put on the same thing. I think if anybody can persuade me to jump out of an airplane, it probably will be you. <laughs> I'm telling you now, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me when I tell you to do it. I think that, I don't know if it's a good or a bad trait. So I wouldn't say it's bad because I don't do it to harm other people. But my friends have told me that I can be very persuasive. Yeah. So I deliberately try not to be persuasive. That's good. But sometimes but, I can't help it. If I yeah, want, if I want, to, if I want somebody to do something, I would find a way to make the person do it, <laughs> whether they like it or not. I, I try not to. I try not to impose. You know, I try not to be persuasive. Well, let me just say I'm convincing. I give you reasons why you should, like valid reasons why. You should. Okay. Well, you can find if you can find a real valid reason for me to jump out of an airplane. You let me know. You're giving me a task and I'm going to do it because I'm going to start looking for work. I love it. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll I'm sure we'll be talking about this more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And I can't wait to give you a hug in person at some word camp in the future, for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Um, have a wonderful pleasure. afternoon for you, night for me. That's right. We'll talk to you later. We'll see you on Peace. Twitter. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>